YouTube, what's up, man? Out riding, picking up some food, man, so I can get my behind back at my house. Um, but got to talk about the topic. I just have to. Um, I don't want to clickbait anybody or anything like that. But I just want to bring it up because before people start panicking and feeding into the the, the bull crap. Um, Matthew Stafford, Kelly Stafford are selling their home in Bloomfield Hills. Uh, I believe it's for like six million and some, some change or something like that. Um, and it is, it's old news, okay? <laughs> it's old news, man. Uh, they've been trying to sell the house for a little while now. They have small children. And uh, Kelly Stafford made, made it her business to go on social media and put it out there because she already knew a firestorm could start right now. The draft is over and you have literally nothing really to talk about as far as football. Um, so they're going to try to get a story. And with that being said, she made it her business to go on social media and put it out there that the reason why they are selling that house. They love the house, but it's right by a lake. And that is extremely dangerous when you have small kids. Uh, small kids tend to try to wander. Um, and last thing you want is one of your kids getting out of the house and having a danger put in front of them as far as a lake. So let's just put this, let's just put this fire out before you even start. Don't even, man, listen, Matthew Stafford also did an interview himself Thursday to make it known that he loves it here. He wants to be here. I don't know how many times this man has to say it. You have a quarterback who wants to be in this raggedy city. <laughs> so, um, you know, I love the city, man, but it's not the it's not the, the dream or desire to want to live. Um, and they actually love it here. They have become Michiganders here. He's been here since he was a young man. So, um, and he's raised a family here. So it's understandable that he wants to be here. Uh, let's just let's just stop trying to do our best effort to push him up out of here. <laughs> let's just stop, man. Especially for the media, man. That's why I can't stand media on all levels, man. You know, political, sports, uh, period. They do anything for a story, man, and try to put something out. Put something out there, man. That's how they try to stay alive. Um, so that's bull crap. Pay it no mind, man. You're going to see... Uh, some people that read half of the, the probably the first couple of sentences of a, a story about it and think it's true it, it has nothing there's no validity to that to them wanting out of detroit they just want to sell a house man and find a house in a safer area um where they don't have to worry about that type of risk man also has a house in georgia also has a house in california uh, they have other homes but for this home, they want to sell it, man. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's not the first time an athlete sold a house before. <laughs> I mean, good Lord. So with that being said, everybody, uh, you know, everybody enjoy your day, man. And, and continue to be safe out there. Um, and enjoy your time with your family, man. For those who are struggling out there, man, my prayers go out to y'all. Because some people don't have unemployment. Some people didn't get uh, stimulus help or you know stuff like that so you know my prayers go out to y'all man just be strong man hopefully this thing will be over before everybody thinks it will um, you know hopefully we're gonna have to go revisit this thing in the fall and winter months again so uh, stay strong man uh, but yeah that's that y'all be safe I'll catch y'all later